Just look for the dice. Oh, look at that, dude. Yeah. Oh, we rolling. Critical success, gain an opportunity. Okay. Hell yeah. You've, you've gained an opportunity. I've done it. Uh, I do have the PDFs uploaded in this as well. You can access them through the journal by just clicking on Fabula Ultima and hitting Load PDF. Well, I had it open here in my... Uh, well, you know. I also have this set up to pop out so you can... You don't have to have your character sheets on the same page, which is oh, nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's great. Thank you for telling yeah. me that. And they okay. will still work as far as rolling and stuff goes. Um... Cool. Make sure you go to music and that your like right. volume is turned down. I have mine at about thirty. You might want it lower than that. Oh fuck. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. For playlist. Oh playlist? Okay. Playlist 30. specifically, thirty is where we're at. It's oh, yeah, I'm not update uh, until you let off. Well, yeah, it is weird, right? Yeah, that's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna start something and we'll see. Okay, cool, what yeah. It sounds like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I didn't even start it yet. Too late. He's already no, feeling just, it. Yeah, I was. I was. I was bracing for impact. <laughs> oh, I'm really glad I put it on 25, dude. Yeah, mine's pretty good. I can always okay. just go in there and. Uh, yeah, put a, a bit. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of jamming though. What oh, a yeah. what a classic JRPG. That's a good one. Like music, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally just like JRPG overworld medley. Love it. Yeah, yeah. It, fits it feels perfectly. it feels like that. Yeah. 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 L like an isekai. In, yeah. yeah, like an isekai, <laughs> like sort of music. When the on the the main characters is walking and taking in the the entire like beauty of this new world. Yeah. True. Okay. Um. Yeah, we ready? Wait, right, let me go ahead and let me pull up this thing on an op op another page instead of. I'll need this, and I'll need. I don't think I'll need that. I'll need that though, because it'll be easier for me to have the PDF up because I can just Control F to look for things instead of having to go through the appendix. Yeah. <laughs> I also read through it. Uh, read through. I don't think I read through all of it, but I read through. Uh, no, I meant the uh, the, and, the things that yeah, like the that. combat and how the skill works. Yeah, I've but read. I'm like all of it, and then reread quite a bit of it yesterday, also. So okay. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, you even need like a quite a thorough <laughs> red mm -hmm. It's it's a first first playthrough, so you know. If you have to pause to look stuff Peach up or door. whatever, yeah, it's Peach it's okay. It. It's, it's All right, fine. no problem. So we start. Well, first, the the world's name is Etheria. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll paste that so you can see the name. Although you should be able to see it at the top of the screen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Etheria. Uh. The continents all have names also, but I actually put those on there. <clears throat> and I had to... <laughs> it was actually funny. Uh, I was, uh... I had Kevin look at this for me, so I could see what it looked like from a player's perspective. And <laughs> I forgot to put a description for one of the continents. It just said East in the description, because it was the Eastern continent. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh no! <laughs> It's accurate, but there should be more. <laughs> uh, and if you double click on any of these little, uh, if if you hit the little bookmark looking thing on the left, okay, oh, uh, cool. and click the ping or the the pins, it'll toggle note display to where they're always on, and you should be able to see these. I have notes literally everywhere. For every oh. every every country on the map has its own note. So. Oh, okay. no! So, so I got a, I got the bookmark. Okay, yeah. Oh. Notes display. Yep, and then you should see notes everywhere. Hmm. Duchy, Grand Duchy. Funny name. Like I Did can see see their names if I mouse over them. Yeah, and then double click on them and it'll open the notes. 
Oh, double click, double click. Got you, got you, got you. Not everything has an illustration, mainly because I ran out of points when I was making like. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I, I ran that's out of points when I was designing things, so I don't have enough like AI fair points enough, to dude. make more illustrations. Don't worry about it, dude. You need to so, hell of an effort, dude. If yeah. you see an illustration, good, but don't expect them everywhere. Okay, okay, okay. Very cool. All right, so. We'll get to the introduction of your characters first. We're going to start in the center continent, Arcadia, which is also the name of the city, because it's just a city that sprawls the entire continent. It's just huge. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The, the grids, I want to say, represent a day's travel, but also, like, that seems like a wide distance to cover in a day. Yeah. Well, it, it's up to you. So we'll see how it feels later. Okay. Yeah, that That's does seem like a long way to cover. Yeah, because if you go down in the bottom, there's like a thing that's like 600 miles, and that's almost the size of one of these grids. Okay. Oh, no, that's about half of the grid. Which would, I would be like say, well, 300 miles a day on foot doesn't seem viable, yeah, <laughs> even no. for superhumans. Yeah. I know, I'm just... Uh, uh, a very squishy boy that likes to be in the lab, so there's, there's <laughs> no chance. <laughs> yeah, so how how old are your characters? Uh, my character is up in there in years. I would say 40 to 45. Well, young for a half dragon, as we're calling them for copyright reasons. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, 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 I'm feeling the the uh, the fierce hit of uh, reaching maturity as a half dragon. That's why I'm being so uppity. And that's Ornery. Mock. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I suppose, um, you know, 28 or 30 or so, right, right, right around in there. So, like, kind of like in your prime and, you know, like that. So you want to be young. Very young, considering I was going to have your race basically next to a mortal unless killed. <laughs> I mean, it's it's okay if I guess I guess you're right, right? Like, uh, I I hadn't really got into the like specifics of stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you, you can be so. young, that's fine. I have you, I have you down as the youngest of the of the like thirteen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's fine. And so, like, also, you can be that young if you want. And that would also mean, like, th that would kind of make sense as far as, like, oh, this youngster's overstepping his bounds and changing the, trying to change things the way things have always worked. Get him out of here. Um. Yeah, I I didn't know if you'd be okay with having, like, a really long lifespan. Uh, so I, I, that's why I, I was essentially uh, like, going to make, like, your race and the opposing race yeah next to a mortal okay like i a lifespan yeah. that couldn't typically be registered on your average calendar <laughs> right so i guess i guess what i mean is that i look i look in the sort of like late 20s to early 30s okay uh but yeah i mean um you know Time yeah, has passed I mean, to, to have like an understanding of of the events of, of Asuria and like that. Yeah, I mean, we could say you're several hundred years old, but your race doesn't even show age until you're well into like a thousand. Right, but this is this is just just purely like backstory and cosmetic has doesn't have anything to do with like uh, my player uh, pattern mm. and stuff like that. So no, I just yeah. wanted to know for backstory yep. reasons. Yep. I'm good because I, 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 I was going to have you be the youngest. Yeah, and that's then fine too. the description you gave me for the older guy, I was gonna yeah. have him be the oldest. Okay. And basically, he's like, uh, he's he's been around so long that he no longer cares what yeah. others are doing. He himself just does what he wants and is considered neutral to good compared to the others. Because yeah. he doesn't really take any sort of stance on anything anymore. Right. Right. And then I was going to have your other guy 
be uh, roughly the same age as you, maybe a few years older. Sure. Or a few decades older, who knows? Yeah, yeah. Years, decades, it's all kind of the same when you live right. for thousands of years. That's right. Um, so yeah, we're starting in uh, Arcadia. Mm-hmm. which uh, if you double click on it you'll see a nice little picture of it that was one of the few pictures cool. I got it was a yeah. great picture yeah. looks like the city of brass card of MTG yeah a little bit yeah looks pretty cool yeah, yeah. I, I like it a lot actually yeah so Arcadia is the city of magic and technology it's a completely neutral city uh, it has no interference with it's 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 a very powerful city because it's magic and technology, and uh, therefore it's left alone by everyone, and it also leaves everyone alone, not getting directly involved in anything. It's purely a neutral city for almost academic purposes. Uh, anyone is welcome so long as they don't disrupt the peace of the city. Mm-hmm. Um, it's ruled by a council of sages. There's 12 of them, I think. Let me check. There was 12 of them. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, they're, they're each one... Uh, they're essentially the deans and professors of the academy, which is at the heart of the city. Okay. Uh, and each one is a specialist in what they study and considered the top of their uh, field. You, Morthos, or how, mm-hmm. how, how are we saying that, Morthos? Yeah, Morthos is good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Morthos, uh, you've just arrived on an airship from Solara, which is the continent okay. to the south. Okay, yeah. Um, so you're... Hold on. Impressive how much a one hour, like good one hour nap, does to you. Mm-hmm. I think uh, so. Maybe each block could be essentially like the the average distance covered by a day in an airship. That might could be, that might would make sense. I would say it's like cool. let's let's do normal ship because airships okay. are going to be quick. Okay, I didn't. So know, let's I do. You said airship. I thought you said. That, I so did say cool. airship. Okay. Because there are airships in this world. Yeah. But airships, I think, would be much faster than a regular ship. Like, 600 Mm. miles in an airship would be nothing. Mm. I mean, it depends on, like, you know, is it a Zeppelin or is it a... You know what I mean? Or is it, like... Yeah, I mean, it's... it's it's, 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 Obviously, it's Final Fantasy style. Come on, now. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. It's Final Fantasy. It looks like a ship... It's a piece of shit. (laughs) <laughs> they look like I, I don't have the picture uploaded but they, they do just look like ships with like engines attached to them okay. that okay. fly through the sky got you got you and you okay. can like buy one oh from from 12 I'm guessing yeah oh yeah. Well, you, can buy, you can buy one dude yeah uh, Freud's class can actually build one if he wants oh shit okay. yeah that's one of the things he can build is an airship they can hold up to... I think it said it can hold up to 50 people. Uh, I thought it was 20, but could be 50. Yeah, it might be. You may be a really, really skilled engineer. You know what I mean? Maybe you, you, you're you breaking the barriers that holds 50 now. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're talented, you're talented. So, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. might as well. Mm-hmm. Might, might be a steep roll, but, but yeah, sure. It is 50. I was right. Oh, it is 50. Okay. Yeah. Damn. That's a I'll, I'll, I'll share it so you can see it. it, it either a big ship or we're going to be like a uh, kind of sardines. Uh, a little cramp. Yeah. Cost <laughs> 6,000 zenny, just so you know. Again. <laughs> uh, which I assume is what this is called. There is a T on there, but, you know, copyright reasons, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. That discovery. <laughs> quote unquote yeah uh so yeah uh we've started we're started you you've just arrived in arcadia and you are currently at the port which functions as both 
Um, seaport and airport. Uh, and uh, this is this would be your first time in Arcadia, Morthos, mm -hmm. as you've just arrived from somewhere else. And upon entering, you'll see a, you know a bustling city with people all over, fairly peaceful-looking, massive buildings. Uh, probably something you're not necessarily used to seeing. And uh, at the port, you'll overhear, upon arriving, yeah. an argument happening, fairly loudly. <laughs> a a fairly, fairly loud argument happening. Uh, between a indiscriminately aged w woman hard to tell her actual age could be 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, who knows but she, she appears to be a human woman uh, dressed in purple robes and a uh, purple scaled half dragon Mm -hmm. And let me turn this music down some. It's gotten louder for some reason. The this, this song it, is just intense. Yeah, yeah. yeah intensity. <laughs> well, I mean, we can also change it on our end, so like, don't get too worried about it because we can. Yeah. Oh no, I was turning it down for me. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I was just turning it down for me because it was it, it had gotten louder in my ears. Um. So yeah, you'll overhear this conversation happening loudly uh -huh. between a purple-scaled dragonborn and the woman, uh, clearly someone of importance, dressed woman dressed in these uh, purple robes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the conversation, which I suppose we have to have now, mm -hmm. <laughs> is... <laughs> between Corso and his teacher. Mm -hmm. So coming upon them, you'll hear her say, uh, time and time again, I've told you to stop with these pursuits, and now look, you've been kicked out. Like a very exasperated sigh, and he goes like, Look, I've spent all these years under under a few sages, and you told me that I should follow my heart, that I should follow my dreams, and now that I've found my vision, you're also going to turn on me. She will also sigh. <laughs> I'm not turning on you. I just don't want to see you, a, a mind like yours, kicked out of the academy simply because you've decided to delve into something that you shouldn't be delving into. You know you can't look into the soul stream and the other and the other planes like Luminar and Abyssoria. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that would definitely make me perk up. So I definitely yeah. uh, sort of like stop, uh, like walk a little more slowly because uh, I'm just kind of like passing through, you know, with uh, with, with my gear and stuff. Just having got off the boat and just, I'm, I'm eavesdropping now, like kind of intently. <laughs> yeah. So I shouldn't, or you bunch don't want me to, because it seems that it was a pretty unanimous opinion, and I'm, I'm, I'm getting now that it was absolutely unanimous with you. It wasn't unanimous. I fought tooth and nail for you to try and, you know. To, to protect you from getting kicked out, but you continue to look into these things, and I can't, I can't turn a blind eye and act like I don't know what's happening. Then I shall bother you no more. If I can't do this here, I will find my own way, as I should have from the beginning. Look, if that's what you want to do, then I, you, you do what your heart tells you. But I think you should go apologize to the council and beg for their forgiveness. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, let me get my schedule. 
<clears throat> I'm getting my my, my 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 notepad. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this between um, sundown and dawn of tomorrow. <laughs> well, there you go. I, I scribble something, and yep, well, well it is uh, schedule now. Clearly sensing your sarcasm, she'll just throw her hands up in the air and she won't even walk away. She'll just teleport. And uh, I go, that does it. Yeah. Uh, so so I'll, I'll walk up uh, now, uh, seeing as the professor there is, is gone. As soon as I say, uh, <clears throat> Hello there, uh, fellow <sighs> dragon kind. Um, yes, it seems like a bit of a bit of a bit of a rough day, is it? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Uh, yeah, I would say a couple of years, but yeah, 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 day. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Mm. Uh, you look uh, you look uh, foreign. What are you for? Can I help you with anything? Oh, I'm from uh, uh, far away. Yeah, foreign, as you, as you, as you say. Yeah, I try um, not to judge, but you look, uh, you look the profile. Yes, uh, <laughs> a little bit of xenophobia doesn't hurt. Uh, it, actually, uh, I'm new in town. Uh, was just mm -hmm. uh, sort of passing by. Was wondering maybe if you could kind of. Show me around a little bit. Uh, it sounds like you've been here for some years, maybe even. So you probably know your way around. Yeah, well. yeah. Your schedule seems seems, century. seems yeah, somewhat seems clear. Like, yeah. yeah, it feels like centuries, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, my my schedule has been open for me, so yeah, sure. Uh, where do you want to start? Uh, I Anything what are you drink, looking for? Anything, anything to drink around here? Maybe we can we can start there. Sure, sure. Let's go. And I, um, uh, we go to to a place nearby um, the Adventure Guild because uh, I want to show the, the the city, but at the same time being as efficient as I can to to go where I want to go. Okay. Yeah. You could even go to the Adventurers Guild if you want, and they. I'm sure oh, they have, would they have, have a have tavern there, yeah. inside, okay. you know, okay. for they, they, the gathering go, of adventures. Uh, adventures how convenient. How con yes, how convenient. <laughs> yeah, it's very convenient. Almost <laughs> as if it was designed like this. Wow. Yes, That's exactly. crazy. Uh, and it is efficient, <laughs> above all. <laughs> <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay. Oh um, uh, yeah. So, what what, <laughs> okay. what did you say? Uh, what did you say? The okay, you, you typed it. Okay, cool. I, I, I was going to ask about uh, Corso's um, like oh. teacher's name. Yeah, but it's it's there. It's there. Isadora. Yeah, Isadora. Is that a Star Weaver? Star Weaver, I think it is. Uh, Isadora. Yeah, Star Weaver. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's hot. Uh, I can. She, she kind of is though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she ain't bad, you know. Uh, I don't know if I have it set to show you, but I can. Uh, no, it's, it it should she should be under Arca the uh, description of Arcadia. Like if you click the notes, she, there should be one that says Isadora Starweaver. Oh yeah, mm, and then well. it has her picture and like a long description. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that's she told me everything everything I know. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Hmm. Hmm. Everything you know. Um, <laughs> that is. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, that could be. Yeah. Well, no, no, not that part. But yeah. Oh, okay. Mommy, say. sorry, mommy, sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there, there, there's a logistic a problem. Uh... There's, a, there's a logistic problem between races that that could, could not be overcome. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've seen what they sell at Bad Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so you go to the Adventurers Guild, which is a very large and prominent building. Uh, not, not in the center of the city, because like I mentioned earlier, that's where the Academy is, which is a huge sprawling campus, uh, filled with dorms and 
typical things an academy would have. Multiple nice. buildings. A uh, very large garden, you know, for mm. biology and stuff. Or, uh, not biology, but herbology and stuff. Who knows? Things and such. Academia. <laughs> <laughs> My hero. <laughs> My hero, yeah. Uh, but you go... I try to avoid like main main roads. Try try to like casually like uh, look around me. If I see okay. someone following me. Very uh, casually. Casually. Uh, let's. You know, let's let's do a skill check for that then. Let's do the first one. Let's yeah. do Dex yeah. plus Insight. Uh, okay, rolling. Oof. That's a five. Yeah. Yep. Is, that a, is that a winner? That's that's not a winner. Oh. Uh, even on the lowest end, that's not a winner. Yeah. <laughs> that's an awful roll. <laughs> so you notice from that that you're trying to be sneaky, uh, avoid suspicion and the such, but all that's doing is making you look more suspicious as you're trying okay. to g- go through the back streets, basically. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> um, Fair enough. They don't care that okay. you're there, obviously, because mm-hmm. it's a big city. Why would they care? But no, they are now... At, like They probably <laughs> wouldn't have noticed your presence had you not tried to hide your presence. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my social skills working. Yep, uh, as intended. No. Mm-hmm. I, I want to say... Uh... <clears throat> uh of course, there's something something bothering you. There, you seem a little yeah. jumpy, a little twitchy. Uh, uh, yeah, my, my my master tends to be a bit uh, uh, strict, so I was just wondering. Oh, you're not that's... supposed to be here, or? No, 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 no. I I I, I talked back. I I I, I shouldn't have uh, like gone off on her, and uh, she tends to be a bit of. Uh, she, she wouldn't like this word, but but, but she, she she likes to uh, execute a correction every now and then. So uh, just mm. just just being careful. That's all. Some people would pay for that. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So you uh, unstealthily make it to. I was trying to yeah. avoid saying benchful just in case. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, based on the description I gave her, she wouldn't be vengeful. I know, I know. But but she <laughs> but has you know, you live your life. Lessons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying she wouldn't be strict, but I don't think she'd be vengeful. Yeah. Well, I would say vengeful, but she would say just. I will. I will say that before she disappeared, she had a deeply saddened look in her eye. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it is just you. Yeah. Um, maybe I, I'm. I'm wanting her to do something. You, maybe. Something. Maybe you just rub people the wrong way. I, I would imagine how that would happen, but but yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So you you quite easily make it to the Adventurers Guild. Uh, the opposite of stealthily, though, as you've now drawn okay. more attention to yourself somehow. <laughs> and, I look at people like, "Why are you looking at me?" <laughs> yeah, basically, which just further draws their attention. Yeah. Uh, you make it to the Adventurers Guild, which is also, I mean, it's it's a fairly large complex. There's. Uh, you walk in, there's like a tavern area at the star, at the front where the adventurers can gather after missions and stuff like this. Although, I mean, how many adventurers can they do in Arcadia? It's just one big city, right? Like, yeah. not really some forest and stuff to go out and hunt monsters in. Yeah, it's like a stopping point, but not not like people stay here, here for the adventure scale. Right. That's, that's uh, okay. your, your typical thing you're going to find here. <laughs> Mission-wise, it's going to be simple, like, fetch things. Like, oh, I need this for my research. Can you go pick it up and bring it to me at the academy? It's 
that's being held at this location. Dot JPEG. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's like, like people come here to get like certain amount of money. I'm here most most more, more than likely. Right. Uh, there would be. The, I mean, like I said, it's a fairly it's a large complex. Uh, that you have the tavern area, then there's the que the counters for the reception, and near there are the quest boards, which here in Arcadia are a little fancier than you might find out in the boondocks. Mm. Uh, they are holograms oh. coming out of orbs on the ground. Oh, nice. And <clears throat> should you want to accept one of the quests on the board, you just have to tap your guild card to it, which you guys don't have yet, because, well, of course I might, but I doubt it. No, I don't. No, no more than likely I don't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so here, here's a good place to get a drink. Uh, there's also shops inside. Further back, past everything, there's actually training grounds for testing out weapons and the, the like. Okay. Um, it's almost more of a adventurer school than a normal guild would be, because uh, it's a, it's a good place for starters. Okay. Also, I suppose like it's good because like the students of the like academy, like you know, they could come here and you know maybe get some some more sim you know simpler tasks, and then you know yeah, it's a good place out, for it's a, magic, it's a good place for learning like, magic, I guess. It's a good place for that. It's a good place to make some extra money as a student. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, if you've got into the academy, then most of your things will be covered, but, you know, they're not going to cover mm -hmm. frivolous things that you yeah, need. Yeah, I, I don't carry, like, a, a big backpack, just, just a, like a like a, like a a sort of medium to small satchel. That's, that's all I'm carrying, so. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll walk up to the bar. Uh, unless you have some more uh, exposition, I can wait. Also, no, you can you can go up to the bar. I can I can put an exposition later. Yep. I uh, walk up to the bar and uh, uh, barkeep. Yes, uh, two of your most economical ales, uh, my buddy uh, Corso here, is uh, you know he's a little little tight on the coin. Uh, please. <laughs> I like how you've just assumed he has less money. <laughs> uh, uh, you hear me go, ugh, no, no, the usual, please. Uh, I don't know the price of anything in this, because I don't think there was prices <laughs> for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the yeah, the, you know what? Now, now that I think of it, the the exchange rate of one senate, it's like, hmm, what do we do with one senate? Yeah, yeah. I think we can extrapolate it from from a normal piece of gear. I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. Let's say. Yeah, I mean, let's do Final Fantasy logic, and what would that be like? Five zinny, ten zinny, or something yeah. like that. Something cheap. Yeah, five, ten with with, with a meal. Yeah, <laughs> I do need to change something though, because I just looked at the actual rewards and stuff, and I'm offering you guys way too much fucking money. No, no, no. Give me some. <laughs> no, no. We need this. That's you're fine. No, no, no. That that's all good right there. You can leave that. That's normal. Nope. Whatever. No. Nope. Whatever that number is. Is there well, no zeros the, though? Actually, I'm not sure. I might need that. The, the thing is, we wouldn't have known till this moment how yeah. the the conversion would have right. like worked out. So. Yeah. Well, it's uh. So I'm sure so, Ruptured is doing the math and looking at that fucking airship and being like, "Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> this guy's gonna have enough money in yeah, two minutes." Just <laughs> I was just looking at that and I was like, "Man, that airship's six thousand, and I'm offering like two for one of these quests." Oh man, oh, we and then I looked and business. it was like level five NPCs should never receive a higher reward than five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so <laughs> big. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm offering yeah, way no. too much. Yeah, well, it says a full rest at a village is five senate. Okay, a so we'll rest. say 
one for the cheap one, one, two for two for something fancy. Yeah. 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 No, I'll, I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll get it. Don't worry. Don't 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 eat the crap. Uh, and I'll say two or two of the the usual ones, the good ones. The good ones. So he'll yeah, give you, you um, four. Uh, where's the what's the money? I forgot where the money was. It should be under your backpack, I think. Backpack. Backpack. backpack yes. Backpack. There it is. There we go. Is it under backpack or is it just at the bottom of the... Yeah, it is. Just no, it, it, I is, it is. Um, I, I thought it might have just been at the bottom of the sheet in general, but no, it's just specifically yeah. backpack. Um, yeah, I gotta... I'm gonna... Let me... The unrelated. <clears throat> am I supposed to have money? Yeah, you should. Do you not? Oh, yeah, you should. Sure. I got a zero. Oh, shit. Corso, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I kind of saw... Let, like, me, let me yeah. figure some things up real quick. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> The money was, uh, that's uh, why that's why I was <laughs> <laughs> economical <laughs> yeah if that wasn't uh, like a like a certain tell of that these guys are wrong. <laughs> it's like, please, please serve me the cheapest glass of water you have yes. <laughs> right yeah how much is the water here <laughs> Well, if you wanna, if you want it in a cup, <laughs> it's one city, mm, or I can I pour see. it right into your hand. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Turns over helmet. Can you just pour it directly into it's here, please? Please. He's a good uh, so, anyways. let's figure this up. You have runic plate on. Yeah. Which is two fifty. Plus, you have a heavy spear, which yeah. is two hundred. So that's four fifty. So that leaves you fifty plus. Uh, 2d6 times 10. So if you want to do that, you can. Or just roll 2d6 and then we'll multiply it by 10, because you can't do times 10. <laughs> okay, let me see. How's this going to work out? Oh, nice. Work out. So, you have 120? That's gold. pretty That's pretty nice. 100, okay. 120 zinni. Okay, but i got to <laughs> ask this, though, because I have this other stuff in my bags. Uh, you... Elixirs, remedies, tonics, all that's free. Okay, and the shard and the. Mm -hmm. tent. Okay, all right. They use okay. um, so you have IP at the top, which stands for inventory points. Yeah. And then those mm -hmm. items use those inventory points when you want them. When you're in a town, you spend ten zenny per point to restore it. Okay. So it, it's basically so you, you can specifically say, hey, I want to buy this while you're in town, so you don't have to use mm -hmm. points for it later. Um, but most, uh, pretty much every item you need, you'll just have on you. And if it's something special that your character wouldn't have, you can use oh. inventory points to basically mm -hmm. manifest it. And then you will just pay for it when you get back to town. Okay. In my mind, this is sort of like like, like the inventory, like in all oh, isekais, the guy like manifests like an inventory. That's that's quite I'm literally guessing. pretty much how it is. Yeah, like you, yeah. your backpack is essentially whatever you need when you need it. Yeah. Like a portal to to a to a thing. Yeah, you're just it, it opens a portal to some dude's shop, and you just take shit and then pay it <laughs> back when you get back. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> But it's it's ten zinni per point uh, to restore okay. it because you don't restore I you don't restore inventory points on arrest. Is that the only way to restore it? Is by spending zinni? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, no. Um, okay. When you loot oh, things, totally. like uh, it, it's kind of up to my discretion. When you loot something, I can be like, "Hey, you found an elixir. Restore three inventory points." Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Or this, this you found a body with a backpack that had supplies in it. Restore two inventory points, or you know okay. something like that. So no, that's not the only way. That's just the most common way you'll do it. Is anytime right. you're in a town, or anytime you're someplace where you can take a rest that would have a shop. So even if like a nice enough ship would probably have shops on it, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm. I don't know why, but this image came to me that that is a sort of a magical system around the world, that is a, administered by by certain entity, that creates these sort of portals. Like like part mm -hmm. of the the system, like it is the monetary system, it is the inventory system. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why we, I, I don't know why it came to my mind like that. It's like uh, when you go to a city, there's there's one of the the the, the offices of this uh, item system. So you go and pay to be recharged, something like that. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it, it, just... it could be like that, but it's more just in the sense of you're restocking when you go to a city and you're paying to yeah, restock. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty okay. much. Okay. And um, yeah, it's it's so you're it's designed so that you're not caught out without mm-hmm. an item that you may desperately need. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the magic tent. If you want to rest outside, you need a right. tent. Right. So okay. if you think you're going to be stuck out away from a city <laughs> for the night, then uh, yeah, you're okay. going to have to spend those points to get a tent. Takes care of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The problem is if you don't have the points to get the tent, then you can't take a rest. Ow. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, anyways, so the barkeep's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> Two, two of the regular, like he recognizes mm. you. Uh, he just kind of mumbles as he walks away. He just, I see so many people every day. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> but well, uh, uh, I imagine that every now and then I came with a with a request for the mission board. I would imagine so, but also I'm still gonna stick with the fact that he sees so many people every day. Oh You're yeah, just for, another no, 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 face in the crowd enough. to him. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. And so fair he enough. gives you the regular, which is just a glass of. Uh, a um, a glass of uh, let's say not L because L would be cheap. I think uh, we'll do wine, yeah. like red wine. Okay. Something a little you know fancier that uh, the occasional adventurer might want. Although most would typically just have a mug of L or mead. Hmm. <clears throat> So uh, as you're as you're doing this, uh, just you, you'll overhear sort of in the background. Uh, you don't have to do anything with this information right now, but you'll see. Well, uh, you'll you'll overhear somebody putting in a mission at the quest counter. Okay. Um, and you'll you, you'll just sort of overhear. It sounds like an important mission. Uh, the first come first serve type of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, you, that's just kind of happening in the background, though. You can continue doing what you're doing. Is there the the person in the back is discussing the details of the mission? Okay. Yeah, I uh, I bring the the wine uh, like up to my mouth, and it goes uh, in my mouth, and I don't <laughs> like it. <clears throat> and I <laughs> try to I try to uh, like. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Thank you uh, for the uh, you know refreshments. Uh, of course, yeah, so. I, I really don't like ale. Yes, that's fair. Um, this is an interesting place. I don't know if I've been to one of these before. Have you? You come here? Uh, I've come here a few times, uh, but mainly to deliver certain requests for the mission board. But oh. I uh, haven't had the necessity before to come to one of these places, and I'm like very, like a. It is not a face of disgust, but it's like oh, I have to deal with this now, sort of face. So you've never taken uh, one of these requests before. Oh, You're no, always no, just no, you bring no, it no. to the. Well, maybe we no. should. I would you you want to look you want to look at them? Like, what, maybe, uh, yeah, well, yeah, but be interesting. Uh, as far as I know, if, if we if we are to take one of these missions, we need to have a adventure skill uh, license. Hmm. Well, we could take a look first, see what you know, what we'd yeah. be getting into before you know we yeah, just yeah. sign yeah. our lives away, right? Yeah. I have nothing else to do right now, so yeah. Uh, so I take I take my wine with me, uh, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna walk over uh, to as, the, as you're as you're walking out of the little tavern area to the main counter. <laughs> You'll yeah. hear the barkeep say, hey, 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 no, you, you can't take that out of here. There's laws. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just, like, like you know, public drink drinking laws and gold. stuff like that. It's a modern city for modern people, yeah. you know. Oh, um, right. Well, I trust you'll keep it safe, and I put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
I don't want to walk over there with Corso. <laughs> so are you walking up to the counter or are you just walking over to the quest board? I put the I put the I put the you know wine back because it seemed it, was, it seemed like it was a problem. Uh, so I put it back on the on the bar and then I, we're gonna walk over to the uh, yeah the quest board or like that mission board. Okay. Yeah, I follow him. It's like uh, I'm I'm trying to figure out what to do, so I'm just letting him like uh, guide us. Well, you know, you need money for research, right? Yeah, yeah. I, and I, I'm now just that you're no longer, you know, I like the idea that you might have been like the teacher's assistant and therefore got a small income because of that. So uh, you yeah. no longer have that income. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why I'm worried. <laughs> After paying for the the one, I was like, oh, that was a lot of money. <laughs> that was more than I was intending to spend. Um, yeah, yeah. So as you're walking up to the I quest board, you see the you you see the the short woman. Uh, she almost kind of from the back. She kind of looks like a child. Uh, at the counter, Lollafell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Lollafell. laughs> uh, no. Yeah, Lollafell. Mm-hmm. Um, not not that kind of child. She looks like a, a young teen. Okay. From the back, not not like toddler running around uh, potato, mm-hmm. potato toddlers like the Lala Fills. Yeah. Um, and you'll see her discussing the, the uh, a quest that needs to be done immediately, as it was she she herself is putting in the request as well as taking the request from the looks of it, but she's going to need help. Maybe. Who knows? Anyways, you go to the quest board. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you can see them, but I have under oh. the journal, quest log, okay. and then side task, mm-hmm. and adventurer's guild. I do there see that. There should be some quests there. Okay, here we go. Um, like so, time. yeah. Ooh, rope. So yeah, there's a there's a few quests that you can see, but like uh like Corso mentioned, you will have to you, you can't accept any unless you become members of the guild. Okay. In which Corso knows that there is a small test that has to be done. Mm-hmm. And I'm tempted to just go full Isekai where they have like a crystal you have to put like press, you know, put your hand on and then explodes because you're too powerful. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. That sounds fun. Hmm. I have some interesting little tasks here. And you've never done I, any I, of these, huh? No. I, I, I'm checking my, my pocket. Like, like I, I, I'm, I'm like pointing the, the word and I'm, I'm, I'm checking my um, my funds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, some of these, uh, some of these rewards, I mean... They're pretty, they're pretty nice. There's like, a, there's like, a, let's see, a free vacation. I see. Uh, let's see. There, you make some money, like little, little, little cash, little side cash here. Mm. I'm yeah. not good with conflict, to be honest. Yeah. So some of these do seem dangerous. This is a incredibly dangerous rogue mage. Maybe we, maybe we do a, let's do an easy one first. Yeah, maybe maybe oh, diplomats. I hate them. Oh, but but the word's good. Hmm. True. Yeah, we just true. get to, we just get to ride on a ship. I mean, doesn't that's uh, fun? I mean, right? Yeah. Uh, can you both roll me <laughs> inside? Well, we're talking like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but both of you roll me the double insight. Double insight. <laughs> 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 okay, average. Both of those are good enough. Um, <laughs> you both kind of overhear that clearly the mission that the girl wants to do at the counter is to get the wolves that have been set loose on Academy Grounds. <laughs> hmm. I mean, oh, you don't God. have to do it, though. Which one is but that you one? Know on she's the, oh, going, I see it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. You see that? Okay, I see. That's the one she herself has put in the request for and is accepting said request to do. Okay. 
What about this wolf one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't, don't want to be railroady right here, but you know. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It's fine, it's fine. Actually, actually, I, I, I imagine that the the, the the girl at the counter just just put this request in front of our faces. It's like. Yeah, let's put all this over here. Uh huh. Yeah, you'll see you'll see this one sort of pop up as it's a timed request. Uh, bolder oh, this one's and got more. a timer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it, it would be quick. I mean, it'd be I quick. I mean, a couple of wolves, right? I mean, how tough could it be? Couple of yeah. wolves. We get in, yeah. we get out. <laughs> yeah. Beam. But but I mean, but boom. That's right. Oh yeah. So uh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, uh, I'm not doing anything. You want, if you want to do it, I. But I don't, I'm not a member, though. No, uh, me neither. Well, let's go to a counter and. Uh, <laughs> well, me neither. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> he said get it like, well, <laughs> get some <laughs> leave, bitch. <laughs> 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 well, bye. Yep. Yeah, no, guess we'll just. I'll and... see myself out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask for forgiveness and go back. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, let's go to the counter and, and sure. get our licenses. Sounds great. So the girl is still the, the girl is still standing there as you get there. Um, and you'll hear her say, "This needs to be done right now." But um, do you have any recommendations for some help? I'm not really the type to to deal with this myself, but I uh, it's my mistake, so I need to. Get oh, this handle. I don't know. I don't know why the name is that. That's not what it should have been. Need some help. God, I don't even remember how to spell her name now. Hold on, Jesus fuck. Why did I make it so weird? So good. Whose name? The girl. The, the girl at the, the counter. Yeah. Oh. Oh, the med did bright skill. Yeah, that's not what it was supposed to be. <laughs> oh, okay. That was supposed to be someone else's name. <gasps> oh, I like that name. Yeah, I like that name. That's a good name. Yeah, that's so you'll day. see as you approach, I'll, uh, I would I would like to stipulate this beforehand. This is supposed to be a young female dwarf. AI not really able to do that. I see. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> No, so, okay, I'm, I'm sold, dude. <laughs> yeah, she looked good, but like not really the dwarf I was looking for, you know? Yeah, right. She yeah. looks like one of the Take dwarfs her. from Arc Age. Yeah, yeah. the dwarf yeah, in yeah. name only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shorter and slightly thicker than your average human would be. Right. And ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? Hey. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> okay then uh yes yeah, so you you approached and you uh you, well, I, i'm sorry i cut you off earlier what, what were you gonna do when you approached either one of you i don't remember somebody was talking uh i think spec was uh, gonna say something oh uh, i was uh, i was following behind you but i i don't mind uh speaking first even though you are in front oh yeah yeah we want to talk first. <clears throat> Hail, yes. Are you looking for help with the wolves? <clears throat> no, she'll she'll turn around in a slightly you know she's just a slightly frazzled look about her because she's made an oopsie, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> as the quest <laughs> said. Um, oopsie daisy. Yeah, oopsie boopsie. <laughs> And uh, she goes, yes, yes, are you adventurers? I, I really need help. Uh, I, I made a little bit of a mistake earlier. And I'm going to handle it. But not alone? <laughs> <laughs> she says kind of questioningly. Well, fear not. Uh, you are now in the uh, great hands of Morthos and Corso. However, unfortunately, no, we are not adventurers. How do you become an adventurer? I was, we wanted to come help with the wolves, but I'm, I'm, I'm understanding there's some, some middle step here that I, I'm not aware of. 
Uh, you you talk to the lady here, and she'll point point to the lady at the counter. And uh, I don't work here though, so talk talk to the lady. Okay. Okay. Lady. Well, talk to the lady and then help. Then <laughs> help. <laughs> and you snap your fingers like lady. Lady, we wish to adventure. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll she'll just kind of look at you and go it's it's not lady my name's Kara <laughs> and if you want to become an adventurer you have to take the exam which is she'll she'll hold up like <clears throat> she'll hold up a sheet of paper that you have to fill out and say and then there's you you go into the back once you filled this out and you just have to Pass the test. Oh, of course, Lady Kara, the paperwork. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is is Morthos gonna need help filling this out? <laughs> yeah, I, I just start like writing. <laughs> like, I was just, I, I, I say nothing. It's just, <laughs> let's go with it. <laughs> the, the young, the young dwarf girl will come up, and she goes, "My name's Phelan, by the way. Can you not read?" As you're just staring of at the paper. Of course I can read. It's just... I detest paperwork. Well, I really need the help, so just stand it here and tell me the information to put down. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I we're, I like that we're going with you don't uh, speak that you don't understand the, like, reading... Or writing of this world because yeah, reasons. I mean, I'm, I'm well uh, educated. Uh, I don't know how we want to handle that going forward, but uh, well, oh you, no, I like it. Ask, I, I'm, I love it, but if yeah. you ask specifically my help, I'm just gonna act like you know. I'm really glad that Phelan's here. Yeah, I really, I, I think it's a great idea. Somehow you speak the language, but don't understand the reading and writing of it. Oh, that's just beautiful, dude. The characters are similar, but not exactly the same to what you're used no. to. It's easy to mix them up, actually, since they're so similar. Yeah. So you tell you tell Phelan the information. Uh, Corso finishes his paperwork. You hand it in, and she goes, "Okay, follow me." Uh, the Kara does not not Phelan. Phelan says, yeah. "I'll I'll be right here. Hurry, please." Uh, well, well. Like it's up to you how fast you go, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's impatient. She's small. They're ornery. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> Short people are small and angry and fast. That's what I've learned. I have to say, so far, I'm having a fucking blast with this yeah. game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so you go to the back, and yeah, there's there's a, a crystal. Why not? Oh. She goes, mm. it's a simple test. Put your hand on the crystal, and okay. it'll generate a guild card for you. Mm -hmm. I like, I like put... Corso go first. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I so... take uh, my, my glove it... off. Mm hmm. And I put my hand. Yeah, let's roll. Let's do insight plus willpower for shits and giggles. Just okay. to see if you like explode inside... the crystal. Insight plus willpower. Insight plus willpower. Willpower. There we go. Oh shit! Oh damn! That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. That's good. Uh, so you put your hand on the crystal, and it grows, ve it glows very brightly, and she's just kind of, hmm, impressive. And then you know, out, out from the side of it, almost a little doorway opens, and out pops a card. Um. That seems to also be made of crystal. Ooh, awesome! Yeah. I'll, and, I'll uh, put my glove. Yeah, and I'll it just says this. it has your information on it. And she's like, if you want to accept one of the quests, just tap your card to it, and it'll automatically be given to you. Okay, thank you. I'll, I'll get the card. Really coming and up with this shit I'll on the fly here because I didn't plan for any of the like Dude, I didn't think uh, that we, far. we have seen 
we have watched like enough isekai to just yeah like, yeah i'm just like I'm, I'm pulling from it the is... depths of isekai knowledge here to just be like yes no, no, how no, do no, adventurers but, guild work but the theater of the mind is so fucking vivid right now dude yeah. you have no idea yo so i'm gonna step aside and, and look at uh more thoughts okay she goes your turn handsome <clears throat> indeed uh i will you know Take my my my. Actually, I don't think I can take my gauntlet off easily, so I'll just keep it on. I suppose. Uh, so, can um, what what? How does how do the fabula points work? Uh, so you can spend a fabula point yeah. to invoke a trait to reroll one of your dice. You can invoke a bond to increase the power of a dice. So like a a bond uh, a one star bond would give a plus one to a dice roll, or to a result, or you can spend a point to add something to the story that I didn't specify, or you can spend a point to do kind of whatever. You just have to run it by me. Okay. Okay. What do you think? I, I don't. Know. I was just. I was trying to, uh, you know. Well, first of all, I I know that the points are related to XP, so we need to spend some. So true, that's true. The meta, that's the meta part. Yeah, of the game. yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, well, and the just part remember, is, you know, uh, I was going to do the superiority uh, and blitz. I think mm-hmm. superiority and blitz mm-hmm. is what we talked about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're you're going to get XP um, in other ways than you typically would. Okay. The the faster well, you uh, end every fight, the more XP you're going to get. Okay. Well, uh, then I, you know, uh, reach my hand out towards the, the crystal. Uh, okay. What am I rolling also for this? Uh, insight plus willpower. Since that's kind of the magic stats. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, do you want to spend a fabula point for something special to happen with your roll or like your your result here? Is that what uh, you were thinking? Yeah, I don't know. I thought I just thought it'd be cool, and yeah, also uh, I don't know. Maybe the is the can the card be special in some way? Uh, maybe it's like the crystal card, and maybe it's like a like black. Yeah, you know. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. So you can you can spend the fabula point. Uh, yeah. I need to make a note of that. Yes, I'm just going to put it in the chat that we have. Yes. That way I can just look back and see how many we spent. Mm-hmm. Um, so you place your hand on it, yeah. and it doesn't light up like it did for Corso. It turns yeah. solid black for a second. Ooh. And you see the um, you, you see Kara's eyes kind of get wide for a second. I, I give her like a smile, like everything is totally fine, and this is not a problem, more weird. <laughs> and she just kind of she has her little notepad with her and she just notes it down really quick for future <laughs> reference because mm-hmm. it's not something she's seen before. Sure. Um, but other than that, everything seems fine. It goes back to its normal, um, normal shade of blue. Cause crystals are blue. Cause yeah. Isekai. Yeah. <laughs> they are though. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it, it opens up the same little slot Mm-hmm. That Corso's card came out of, but instead of the blue crystal card, it's an Onyx card. Ooh, fuck <clears> you. Uh, you know, um, MX Black, if you will. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's it's it looks exactly the same. Other than that, it's just black. Okay. Yeah. Does that does that work for you? That that's amazing. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so is it? It's it's like uh, Onyx Adventures card. Yes, Onyx Adventures card. Now all it does is it says your name. Uh, I don't have an idea for ranks yet, but let's say it says your rank. Uh, okay. You guys are new. You'll be rank F. Okay. How do I? I'll come up with a rank system this. later. How do I write on this on this text editor for the item description? God, it's okay. ass. Um, oh, oh, okay. Then I I can oh, I can give you an item though. Oh, okay. It actually it popped oh. up now. It didn't pop up at first. Um, oh okay, and now now it is there, so that's very 
Uh, okay. That's it. So we're. Um, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the other, like the notes on your character sheet, and those are just done badly. Mm -hmm. Although these work better than um, the one in Josh's campaign we were doing. Like, I don't know if you had that problem, Freud, where mm -hmm. like it did not want to change text whenever I was trying to type oh, in yeah. notes and stuff. It'd be like, yeah, every it, now it, it kept every editing now wrong. Yeah, it actually didn't. What does this dice thing do? What is this? Oh, okay. It displays it. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, well, anyways, uh, I, I'm so just making... You can uh, just type it, and I'll add it. If you want, okay. just type it in the chat, I and I'll add it. Okay. Because I, I can add it easily. Um, yeah, mine is going to say just Blue Adventures. Uh, uh, card. Fuck. Can I edit this after I've... Oh, I can just delete it. Nice. Okay. Something like this. I was just going to put this yeah. in there. And uh, I'll put the same thing in Freud's. Okay. Okay. If it because it's um, I don't know how the crystal <clears throat> thing like uh, how much you want to say that it works. So would it like have understood like uh, like would it put like Lord Morthos on there? It would put whatever you had the sheet filled out as. Let's uh, let's say she has to. Uh, we'll backtrack okay. a little bit and say that she inputs the sheet okay. and all all it does is basically cons it confirms you're telling the truth Fuck with that. um so we'll say it, it confirms you're telling the truth basically that you the information that you've given is accurate oh, okay and so anything you believe to be true it wouldn't it wouldn't know that you were lying or anything like that as long as you believe it's true okay uh the other thing is i would suggest um like every time you make the note in the in the chat uh for a fabula point spent it might be good to just like write what the like what you know just that yeah. very yeah. short description of like oh you know one fabula good. point spent like onyx um you know adventures card or something like that right like you know both morthos's adventure card just so like when you're going back through and you're like why I put this point, but what happened, right? Like, because you're going, because like yeah. it'll be one point, one point, one point, and you just be like, I guess three, four points we have spent. I don't know. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Uh, can hmm. we have just a second? I wanted, to, I wanted to top off my coffee. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I put my code name. Uh, I, I, I thought of it. What's your code name here? That's cool, dude. I like that. Uh, Dusa. Dusa. Means Ooh. young soul. Nice. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I'll be right back. Only, only uh, Isadora uses it mainly because she's the only one that knows it. But right, that right. Yeah, that works. Spec doesn't have a character <clears throat> quote or a code name. Mm. The game is pretty dynamic, not gonna lie. It's very, very dynamic. Yeah, we're currently in what would be considered an interlude scene, I guess, where we're like not really. A lot of things are happening, but kind of at the, a leisurely pace. Mm -hmm. There's no like set time limit for things. For now, till we accept the, uh, the mission. <laughs> yeah. I'm back. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh, yeah, on your sheet you have like a character quote section you can put, as well as code name if you want to have like a nickname or something for your character. Okay. Freud's character quote's pretty badass. Mm. I saw uh, the quote and I was gonna leave it open for, you know, natural things. Yeah. Yeah, just something to come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I have to say that I can't really take the. Uh, like the merit here because AI made that. Yeah, AI did make that quote because I was like designing the first introduction between characters and AI generated all of that and gave I, all parts of the conversation as well. And I'm like, that's not really what I wanted. I just wanted like a description of the scene. Right. But sure. Yeah. <laughs> and the I, quote I, it actually, gave. I, yeah. 
Yeah, the quote it gave Corso was, You taught me to question, to explore, to seek the truth. Now the truth lies in the forbidden, and I won't abandon it. Even if I have to stand alone, then so be it. Nice. And I decided to create my card's personality around that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's actually awesome. I yeah. like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It also did your character's like side of things, but I didn't really give him anything cool to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one came by accident, really. Yeah. Because true, it, it true. But it was too cool to let, like, to just pass on it. Um, so, yeah, you head back to the main counter. Phelan is still standing there. Um, and she goes, do you get it? Do you get it? Yeah, but I did. Of course. I do okay, not let's go. My, my card. <laughs> she just kind of like runs off to the board yeah. as you're like pulling the card out to show her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, she taps her card to the quest that she herself put in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's I, like... I, I, tap, I tap the request with my card. I, I do the same, yeah. You're, you're unable to read which quest it is. You just hope that's the right one. <laughs> I follow. I follow. Uh, of course, this is. Uh, yeah, that's what I see. Yeah, I let him go first, and then I just like I tap what I assume to be the right one. Yeah, yeah. you've accepted slay a behemoth. <laughs> oh, <gosh. laughs> oh no, guys! I really goofed this one. <laughs> <laughs> It was a fun adventure while it lasted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So she's like, "Okay, this way." She's like, "I, I, I know where I saw him last." Ha. Okay. <laughs> like uh-huh. nervously laughing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know, you read, you read the quest description. Uh, Morthos yeah. didn't. Uh, <laughs> 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 a pack of wolves, huh? <laughs> where this is like, is okay. all that what we're doing? <laughs> 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 well, uh, I hope uh, you were right, uh, Morthos. You said uh, this one looked interesting. Well, it is interesting. It has a and lot of like, unknowns. As Phelan's, you know, sort of at a jog ahead of you. She's like, yeah, interesting. Hurry up. <laughs> She's like, I don't want them to get too far away from... Or I don't, I don't want them to get too far into the gardens and we lose track of them. Okay. Okay, I, so what where we're going, I put my hand inside our like inventory portal and I get out uh, a two barrel shotgun. Okay. That is a very uh, very like technological uh, magitech uh two barrel shotgun. Yeah, I'm not going to this this will be I'm, let's go with this is kind of new for you, Morthos. Let's uh, yep, your Okay. <clears throat> I raised your my world is seeing that. Uh, yeah, sure. your world is less steeped in technology than Ethereum yeah. is. Yours is much more yeah. classical fantasy world. 100%. I totally agree with that. I'm on board with that. Yeah. So, like, you seeing all this technology and stuff is very new for you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, you pull that out. I, I'm not going to charge you for it because I'm just going to say you already had it. Oh, okay. Or okay. else it's going to cost you, what, three, three inventory well, let, points? Let's do something. I'm just going to store it in the thing while I already have it. And I'll construct one with, with like sort of magic when I have to summon one. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, sorry. So, just to understand. So, is this, th- is this, um, Corso's normal weapon? Yes. Like uh, outside of my character. For the type, for the type of class that I'm, I'm, I'm deciding to use. Yes. It is. It is. A, it is specific to him. It is called a magic <laughs> cannon. <laughs> Got you. So this is just like it's you know, for his class. It, it's something he's clasping it. Instead of it being like on his back or strapped on him, he keeps it in this little portal thing. That's, that's yeah. Little, let's just for you know aesthetic sake. If he wants to pull it out of a portal to use it, sure, he's magic. You know, I, I yeah, like no, I, yeah. Why? Why I I decided on that's because we're getting our elixirs if we're in a rush or a magic tent uh, when we're in need. Yeah. So I'm deciding that to take those items out of the portal thing instead of backpack. Good. Um, so as we're jogging, uh, I, I do want to kind of, you know, shout uh, to, um, hold on a sec, to Phelan. Uh, anything we should know about these 
wolves are they special in some way or just uh you didn't tie them up properly uh well i was they were in a cage uh-huh and i was taking them to the academy because they're well they're, they're wolves but they're also monsters you right know how that is yes uh and so they're for study we were taking mm-hmm. them to the I don't know what a name for that would be. What's the, what's the name of study of animals? Like zoology? Yeah. Yeah, zoology. Yeah. yeah. Um, mo- we were taking them to the monster zoology r- wing, and I just stopped in the garden for a little bit, and I don't I don't know what happened. I don't know if they got out on their own or someone opened the cage, but I, I swear I just looked away for a second, and the cage yeah. was open. Okay. You well, say just- pack. Uh, how, how many are we talking? <clears throat> just a few uh no no more than four ah okay well just making sure it wasn't a pack of you know 15 12. fire wolves <laughs> yeah. um so yeah oh just wolves problem just wolves <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so okay and the gun <laughs> uh your what type of Cannon? Did you create Freud? Oh, physical. Physical? Okay. Yeah, this one is physical. Okay. Yeah, one cool thing about his cannon is he chooses the type of damage it does when he makes it. Badass. Yeah. <clears throat> I just have to make sure that we're like, because there's resistances and vulnerabilities and stuff are very important in this, so I just mm-hmm. have to make sure of what type it is. Um. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So. Uh, she leads you to the gardens, which Freud, you're, or Corso, you're familiar with, because, I mean, you've been at the Academy a majority of your life at this point. Yeah. Uh, so you're very familiar with the, the gardens, as they're called, uh, which they, they are gardens, but they're also sort of, you know, botany and and all kinds of things growing biomes. here. Yeah, um, a lot of biomes and shit. Yeah, it's very influenced by magic. There's even zones where there's plant monsters that roam freely, but those are kind of locked away from the normal students. Um, yeah, so we have an option here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have to find the wolves now. Okay. It's so, true, baby. Yeah, so finding the <coughs> wolves, which, you know... <sighs> damn it. I thought it would be on the GM sheet, and it's not. Well, I know studying things is insight plus insight, but since you're also moving and studying, let's do dex plus insight. Okay. Uh, Dex plus insight. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Okay. pretty good that's good yeah so was that just for him or was i rolling too you can you can roll too okay actually we could do it as a group check if you want group checks are a thing in this how does that work so you choose a leader for the Mm -hmm. check typically whoever has the highest oh yeah i let him him go yeah i let him do it and then you also roll the check Uh and then if you pass it he gets a plus one to his result okay that's a good that doesn't that doesn't seem good. Mm. No, but luckily he he had already rolled high enough. But oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to look to see. <laughs> oh God, where is it? here? It is. Yeah. Okay. Dex plus insight would have worked, I guess. Anticipating something's movements and catching them. Um. So yeah, you over here. Some uh, not howls or anything. They're not howling, as far as you know. No one's actually in danger. As w- once the wolves were released, uh, all entry into the garden stopped. Uh, but you over here rustling and in the bushes and stuff like that, and um, <clears throat> you're able to pinpoint the location of the wolves. Now, we can do this one of two ways. 
Phelan would prefer that they be captured, uh, mm -hmm. or else she's going to be in more trouble than she's already in. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> would you like to move to a conflict scene, which would be battle? Or would you like to just roll checks to try and capture the wolves? Now, in battle, you don't actually kill anything in this game. You decide after you've beaten it whether you want to kill it or not. I I say let's go to battle so we yeah. can get a sense of the uh, yeah yeah the, okay the, how things work yeah I pull my sure. weapon out yeah <laughs> <clears throat> yeah for sure uh, did that move everybody over it did yeah, sure yeah. oh dude look at this that's cool wow you want to see something like cool that. yeah. The background's two things. You can move behind it. <laughs> oh, that's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah. it's it's fucking yeah. It's it's layered, <laughs> um, which would be cool if I had like secret wolf. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Not that I do. I'm just saying it'd be cool if I did. <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, you move to combat. And when you do, though, or we move to conflict scenes, which is the camera zooms in, you you, you know, four dudes in a row against four dudes in a row. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic. Yes. And, uh, yeah, so you move to conflict scenes. As you do, Phelan goes, please try not to kill him. I really don't want to get punished more than I'm already going to be. <laughs> Okay. Well, we'll and, do... But as she says this, you'll see some like magic sort of <clears throat> swirl around her hands as she readies herself. Uh, okay. Um, which Corso you may think is weird, as you know, dwarves aren't prone to using magic at all. They're a very unmagical race. Okay. Uh, just look, say nothing, and I'll concentrate on the uh, on the wolves. Yeah. So. <clears throat> we are going to roll initiative now, which you should have a button for. Uh, initiative, And yes. the way initiative, initiative works in this game right. is mm -hmm. you have to beat the initiative of the monsters, and then that just gives... It, it's almost like ambushed versus preemptive strike, right? Okay. In mm -hmm. uh, turn-based RPGs where it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. you get the initiative, you get the first attack. But it's not like I rolled the highest initiative. I get to go first. No, you choose which one on your team goes first, and then cool. it goes, it goes, your like it, it, it goes back and forth. It'll be your team, their team, your team, their team, your team, their team. Okay. 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 So, uh, yeah. So press initiative. I think there's yeah. You can just click initiative and it'll roll it. It was Woo! so good, and wow. then it fell off of your guy's thing. Was shit. Yeah, it, you got to remember you're both wearing armor, and armor definitely uh, affects your yeah. initiative. Yeah. But that's okay. You've got Phelan backing you up. Okay. She didn't do much hey. better. Mm, fuck. She really didn't. So you did not get the initiative. The wolves are going first. Dang. I don't. Can I? Can I start in a counter? Begin combat. To be, to be fair. Uh, we did just charge in, and it's our first, you know, combat True. as adventurers. So I think this, I think this works out. Plus, they would have like, you know, they're wolves, so they would have been like hiding in the bushes. So. How do I <clears> add <throat> someone to combat? You know what would be perfect for this? Hmm. Oh, that's uh, how. sixteen-bit uh, sprites. Yeah, yeah, I really wanted to find some. But, but they're, they're, yeah, they're hard to... to, to I, I basically would have had to make them myself or had someone make them. And take a lot. That takes a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have to... Um, I'm just doing this to sort of... Okay, let me just fucking get these out of the way because I don't think I can move them until I do. <laughs> let me don't say wrong. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to use this to keep fucking track. Track of uh, turn order? Is that what you mean? Yeah, to, to like which wolves are going. I mean, let me just mm. clear the initiative and I will. I'm yeah, there should have been something like that. I, I'm sure 
100% sure that there's a module that I'll, will allow you to do that. Um, but yeah, it's just, you might not have it right now. I thought, oh, right. yeah. I'm gonna, no, 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 sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm just, I just got this. And that's all the fucking sprites, dude. Oh, you found a bunch of sprites? Yeah. Where's uh, that? This, this one. Well, I should have put it in the, the fucking group. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't mean for that to happen. Animal. Oh, the wolves are right there at the top, too. That's actually great. Well, going forward, you know, now you have some... And I'm sure you could look up even more stuff. Like, Yeah. But this is sick. Yeah. In my mind, they already sort of looked like this, so that works yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, those are wolves. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, they are. I don't know what to... I don't wow. know what else. Such wolves. Wow. Why is it saving as a GIF? Whatever. I'll so, save it. So, because it's a... Pre it, it, it is a... It's a very image. little file. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could... I could change them. No, 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 no. no. I'll I'll just, I was here. just... I just thought about the sprites... That I know Final Fantasy VI has, um, I, and I saw this uh, site before, so that's why I went straight to it. Okay, I'm going to change the music to combat music now. <clears throat> Ooh. Okay. Sorry uh, for the railing, the uh, thing counter. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, that's that's perfect, dude. Let's go. Yeah. So oh, first up is gonna be one of the wolves. Which wolf is it? That's the question. It's this one. <laughs> okay. I'm just keep. I have the combat tracker specifically so I know which wolves have gone. And uh, yeah, he's going to. I mean, they're going to notice you entering. You didn't get the jump on them or anything. They knew you were there. They're wolves. They could smell your fear. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, how how did you enter combat though? Like it doesn't really matter, but just for. Aesthetic I, I will like probably go with my, with my shotgun, like go torch them because I have no idea how to fight. Oh, uh, what? Uh, so, so are you going in first or are you going in behind Morthos? Uh, that's a good question. I'll probably behind Morthos because I'm more talk than <laughs> more bark than bite, really. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. Sure. <clears throat> And I uh, come out and I do like a like a lot of like you know spins with my great spear and then you know yeah that's one thing it says uh, in this is like, like be like a be flourish. yeah mm -hmm. feel free to embellish all of your actions yeah. like, oh that's what you mean okay, okay. yeah yeah and I will, and you, or I may cock my uh, my shotgun yeah <laughs> that, that that just kind of cocks an eye in, in Corso's direction at this weird noise he's just made, but other than that, she just sort of holds her <laughs> hands up, ready to fight. <laughs> well, she has a, um, a sort of like. A, oh, sorry. So, I, I can't remember what weapon she has. Uh, she has a book in one hand, and like magic oh, yes. glowing Mac around the other. Yeah, the Tome of Smack. <laughs> <laughs> My gun has does the a sort of like a very high pitch noise of sort of like a rail gun does oh yeah Something like that that high-pitched whine of it um yeah 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 okay i like that oh hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we're combat's gonna begin and uh we're cooking now all right so First up is this Wolfie here, and he's gonna. As Morthos has been the first to rush in, he's gonna target Morthos here. Yeah. And uh, he's going to attempt to bite you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Which your defense is only 11, so you take 16 physical damage. Oh my Oof. god. Oh, oh shit. That would, that would be almost half my HP. Fuck. Well, let me make sure that my stats are right for this wolf real quick. Hold on. Hmm. 
<laughs> I mean, I mean, we, we, yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. Is it? This is our, it, our first encounter. So is it all or nothing? So if they beat my defense, they do full damage, or? Yeah, you do have, like, the guard action and stuff like that, but you haven't taken yeah. a turn yet. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> So, Felin, uh, I, I, I think you, you failed to tell us that these are big ass wolves <laughs> that hit pretty hard. What's going on? Let me, uh, teeth <laughs> let, let me get rid of one of them. <laughs> <clears throat> I wasn't sure how much damage we were going to do, so I just put four. Yeah. 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 No, no, Good I imagine. I Good thing yeah. Felin can't counter. We'd be a little bit fucked here. <laughs> It's a good thing you decided to do this quest and got Phelan's help. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. that's that's Boyo done. Uh, first up, it's now your team. Uh, I have Phelan on the list as going first, but she doesn't have to. It's it's whatever you guys decide. Oh, um, I say, because of cool points, I say Morthos goes first, then Phelan, then I. Okay. okay. I'm a bit of the slow side on, on, on reaction time. Okay. Which is uh, unaccurate because you have the highest dex of everybody, but that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, I, I'm dexterous to do stuff, not to like react to stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, so okay. yeah. <clears throat> okay, give me one second. I just want to read my like shadow strike because because they do so much damage. I'm a little bit worried if I do shadow strike that. You'll just kill yourself. Yeah, they might kill me within the turn, but it depends because I don't know how much health they have. But uh, that's okay. Hold on a sec. Let me just um, action. I'm gonna try and treat this not as the way like Trails in the Sky treats combat, where they just target one person the entire fucking time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That gets so annoying. Oh, I revived him, and he's dead again. Great. Oh, yep. fuck. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, comes in, and he bites me. I throw him off, and you can see the sort of, like, uh, you know, hatred in my eyes, a completely different look on my face than the sort of, like, um, you know, a jovial character that you've seen up until now. Um a dark energy, you know, swirls around my uh, great spear, and I'm going to perform a shadow strike on him. So it says, you can use an action to perform a shadow strike, roll your current might die, yep, and lose an amount of hit points equal to the might, to the number you rolled on a might die. If so it didn't you reduce roll, your uh... health to zero, uh, yeah. You may perform a free attack with a weapon you have equipped. If this attack hits one or more targets, it deals extra damage uh, equal to SL, which is skill level. Sp skill level, which is yeah, which uh, one. Is mm -hmm. Plus the number rolled on the might die. However, all damage dealt by this attack is dark. Okay, yeah. So roll a d10 then. Yeah. So it's one of those where you kind of hope it's high, but also, Al. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it, it did it twice. So. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's a five. So you lose five HP. Yep, down to 39. Yep. <clears throat> okay. And, and then... then I'll hit a different wolf than the one that hit me. Okay, sure. So yeah. you want to hit this one in the back <clears throat> here. Yeah, I think I do. Okay, yeah, so then you just roll your regular weapon attack. Is my weapon you... attack... Uh, you can just click the dice that's on the weapon under equipment. Okay. okay. And okay. it should roll it. Okay, I'll, do, I'll go to shot. Damn, that's okay. a lot of damage. Full clock. <laughs> uh, so it should have been that... Plus, plus the five, five. right? And it, and well, plus six. Guy. So yeah, six. You're right. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, that definitely hits, and yeah. it hits for a lot. Like you, you see him 
you, you see him immediately falter as blood sort of starts, you know, pouring out of its mouth. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> there, there's now a huge gash going across its side. Or, no, no not a gash. You're using a spear. Uh, there, there's a huge <laughs> impelled hole in the side of him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's very hurt and has entered crisis. Which, in this game, crisis is when something drops below half health. Okay. So, yeah, you instantly took one down to half health. Good job. Yeah. Cool. Uh, next up is going to be... Uh, it's the one you just attacked. And uh, he kind of doesn't want anything to fucking do with you after that. He's gonna He's gonna run... <laughs> He's going to run the opposite direction. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's just going to kind of... Uh, I, th- I think NPCs can guard. I mean, it would make sense. Let me double check. I don't know. I don't know if you can or can't. <laughs> I don't know. First, let's just say uh, it does. Yeah, I'll Pick figure it out if it can't later. I'll, I'll ask somebody in Discord. Uh, so it's going to just sort of hunker down and lick its wound a little bit and mm-hmm. is now guarding its body from further attack. Yep. Okay. Uh, so next up, uh, you said you wanted Phelan to go next. So Phelan yeah. will go next. I don't know why I pulled that up like that. <sighs> <laughs> And Phelan will kind of, she'll, she'll open her book and then she'll hold out her hand and she'll be like, I don't, I'm not really that good at this. Uh, and she's like, I guess we'll gamble here. <laughs> and she's going to cast the spell gamble. <laughs> Ooh. And she's going to spend 10 mind points. Half you could hit, oh, damn. Three. Okay. Three. So each cre- each creature present on the scene, including yourself, suffers poisoned. Uh, so that's all okay. of you. Everyone suffers poisoned. God <laughs> fucking damn it! <clears throat> What's and that? she'll get sort of a green like hue to her face, and she'll go, "Oh, that didn't work." <clears throat> <sighs> and uh, poisoned, if I remember correctly. Uh, <clears throat> I checked the box. Okay. On my yep. on my character sheet, I I don't see that it changed anything. I don't know if that means that it'll take that into account if it did. Uh, like I, have an effect on the. I action. don't think it'll automatically change because I don't have that set up right now. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, I think there is a module I can get. Oh, I clicked immunity and not the fucking right <laughs> one. <laughs> Oh, no, it does change it. It lowers willpower. It lowers willpower? Yeah. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, for me, it lowers it lowers might. Oh, theirs is already six, so I can't see theirs. It, so it lowers might and willpower. You're right. You're right. Um, I <laughs> don't think Ouch. it affected the NPCs, so I'll have to manually adjust theirs. Okay. So... It, it lowers <clears throat> might and willpower by a die size. Oh, no, it did. It did. Okay. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, and she'll go, sorry. And then she'll <laughs> pass her turn. As she's, like got a, she's clearly got a green hue to her face, as all of you currently do, as you feel uh-huh. like... You're feeling mm-hmm. a little rumbly in your tumbly, like... Uh, oh. Like that wine didn't sit well. 
Mm, no surprise. <laughs> and you'll see this uh, this other wolf over here, sort of his head lolling a little bit. He's just kind of he he knows some he's, she did something. He's not sure what, but he's he's not happy about it. So he's gonna try and bite her. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Ooh. That was a low roll, dude. <laughs> that is a low roll, but she ain't got shit for defense, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, she takes 13 damage. Damahe. Yup. Damahe. And, uh, yeah. She's like, ah! You know, she's, she's, she's a young student. She's not used to combat, even less so than Corso <clears throat> is. Mm. Whose turn it now is? Hey, I just say, ah, this won't do. And I do a movement with my arm, and I create a big sort of uh, cog that uh, goes counterclockwise, and I cast Cleanse on all mm. of us. Oh, wow. Nice. Now that's clutch. Holy shit. And oh, wow. uh, we all recover from our statuses. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Yo, that's super clutch, holy shit. <laughs> so that was, uh... That was, what, all thir cured. 30 MP? 30, or no, uh, it's 35. It, no, I used 15. Yeah, yeah, I, I couldn't remember. Cl oh. Cleanse is 5. Cleanse is 5, that's right. I was thinking of you. Yeah. 5 per. Yeah. 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 Nice. Fucking sweet. That's... That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's uh, the first guy's turn again, and he noticed, uh -huh. uh, hey, that purple guy just did something, and they look like they feel better than I do. Maybe if I bite him, I'll yeah, feel that, better. That will, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a seven. I don't think that hits. <laughs> I, I don't know what... Uh, what, what uh, Eleven. Eleven is your defense. What's my defense? Yeah, eleven. Oh, eleven. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so that doesn't hit. He, he he tries to bite. He runs over there, tries to nip at your heels a little bit, and you're just kind of like I put pathetic. I shotgun on his face. <laughs> oh, but, like, he don't. just kind of yelps and backs off. <laughs> uh, so, alright. Uh, it's your team's turn. Whoever you want to go first. Um, actually, I say the same. Uh, wait, the same. wait. Wait, can it? Um, it can change. We we can change. Yeah, okay. you don't have to go in the same order. Oh, I mean, I'll probably make the NPCs go in the same order every like the the monsters right. and stuff go in the same order just so I can fucking keep track of it. But it doesn't know, matter wait. for you guys. Hey, Corso, do you want to do? Do you want to do a, an attack uh, maybe this time? You know, like you you know get to get to enjoy your shotgun or. <sighs> Sure. Oh, 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 I mean, it's already in here. the it's already in the one wolf's face. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go then. I'm gonna fucking farm a shotgun. Uh, here Bwah. It is. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. is. Uh, that's enough. That's oh, enough. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, so you just point blank fire the shotgun damage. for sixteen yep. physical damage to his face. <laughs> that uh not quite as impressive as what Morthos managed to do, but that's still a good amount. That's a yeah, great amount. Yeah. And the whining uh noise starts again. I'm trying to think. Fifty minus Oh shit, half fifty. Fuck. Yeah. Well you didn't hear that. <laughs> Pull up a fucking calendar, or the calculator, real quick. Make sure I'm adding things right. Wow, well, that's not right. Where did I get 52 from? Okay, yeah, I, I did get that right. All right, yeah. So yeah, point blank, bam. 16 <laughs> points of damage. He, he, you know, he, he falls back. And he's he's wounded. He's not happy. Uh, the one, the one that Morthos injured quite harshly, mm -hmm. seeing you point-blank shoot his friend, rushes up to help him, and tries to bite your hand to get you to uh, put the put the shotgun away. And that is not a hit. 
They're bad at this. It's fine. Nice. <laughs> wow, well, really? Well, I, I'm glad. I, I, I'm, I'm glad. Your deck, uh, like our Dex, MP Dex affects um, armor, and since you have ten decks, that means you just have a base ten defense plus oh, your shit. armor. So even though Specs over here in this massive like suit of armor, his defense is the same as yours because your Dex is so high. Nice. Well, I, I am a half dragon, so mm -hmm. yeah, it makes mm -hmm. sense. Uh, yeah, next turn, Morthos, do you want to go, or do you are you thinking end the turn this time? No, uh, I'll, I'll go. Okay, I'll go. Cool. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, seeing it, uh, like seeing that one, uh, like make an attack on Corso, um. I want to use this the soaring strike. It looks like the main thing is yeah. I can. Oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, so it attack. only affects things that yeah, can be hit yeah, by yeah, ranged yeah. attacks. So you're it has right. to be like yeah, a flying right. monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just I was just reading through it. So yeah. I saw that one. Okay. Unfortunately. That's all right. That's all right. Um. Yeah. I'll I'll just do a regular attack this time. Sure, roll your uh, spear damage. Mm -hmm. Which one are you targeting? Uh, this time I'll you can, hit, you can uh, long click or press T over the, whichever one you're hovering, and it'll target can, it. Can I? I think you have to click it and then press T. Okay, I can only target. I can't target that one for some reason. Never mind. Just uh, you're, are you trying to target the one that's most injured? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll give it a. Attack here. Man, he fucking yeets those dice. Unfortunately, he manages to uh, he manages to slide. Uh, he he, he having missed Corso, he's not really engaged enough to not notice you coming up on his flank, mm -hmm. and he sort of runs back to the pack. Unfortunate. Next, it was a good attempt. He mm -hmm. was almost there. Mm-hmm. I need to know if this works like AC does. Where it's like, if it's the same, it still hits. Mm, that's a good question. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. You know what? Hmm. Let's say it hits. He was engaged with Corso a little bit, so mm -hmm. let's say he doesn't notice, and I'll give you a plus two modifier to the situation. Because I can do that, apparently. <laughs> Based on how you describe things, I can be like, yeah, that's cool. Plus two. Okay. Shits and giggles. Yeah. So yeah, give me a give me a description of it, and I'll decide if you actually hit or not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I noticed that he's, uh, like, you know... Somewhat engaged with uh, with Corso going for the bites, but Corso, you know, nimbly dodging. So I kind of like, you know, dash around behind, um, such that like I'm approaching from directly behind him, and he can't see me while he's taking those bites uh, at Corso, and sort of like do like a like a jump and like plunge on him with the deck or with the uh, gray spear. I like it. Yeah, that that'll work. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's real injured now. He's uh, a <laughs> bordering unconsciousness, if you will. Nice. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah, this one. He's going to attempt to bite Morthos, who's, you know, f one flank for w another. That is a 15 for 16 damage. Dang. That's a hit for sure. Damn. So, yeah. That's 16 damage to Morthos. Ouch. He's okay. fine. Yeah, he's fine. Crisis? 16, let me see. Uh, I think I am in crisis, which okay. actually... That, does, that triggers one of your abilities. Yeah, that triggers my uh, Heart of Darkness. Yep. 
Uh, so I can choose a creature that I can see that I don't have a bond towards. Yep. And if I do, I get to create a bond of hatred. So I, it's a taunt. I'm guessing. Uh, no, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't taunt. It just makes it yeah. where he has he has other abilities that are like do more mm. damage to things you hate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so and I do that. Yes. Okay. So uh, which one? Which which one do you want to? Do you want to target the one that's got full life, since that's the one that just hit you? Yeah. Okay. I'll just put a. Gonna put a little marker, I think, so I know that you hate. That's dead. I didn't want dead. He's gonna be dead. We'll leave it at that. No, I don't want dead because that removes him from the tracker. I'll mm. just yeah, we're fine. Okay. So next up is. Um. Phelan. And she's gonna she's gonna say, I'll try better this time. They're like, no. And she <laughs> she tosses her book up in the air and you see dark magic sort of spring between her fingers and she shoots out almost like a scythe type wave that hits all three enemies. And, and she's going to do Umbra. Oh, damn. Nice. That's quite a bit of damage. Yep, and that does hit all three of them because you only roll it once and then match it to their stats. So yeah, she hits all three of them for 20 damage. Nice. But that does take quite a bit of her MP. So she's now, she's, she's, she's low on MP now, but that's fine. That outright, uh, the one wolf that was already very injured, he falls over. He is, uh, he's injured. Yeah. This one? In, for, yeah, for the sake down. of combat, he's dead. He, For the sake of combat, he's dead. Yeah. Uh, okay. The second wolf that you attacked is now in crisis. So this one down here. So like, okay. I suppose I could make it to where you guys can see their health bars, because it doesn't tell you their exact health, it just gives you a bar. Mm -hmm. It could be that um, when it reaches half, like uh, maybe a red point, or uh, yeah. like a square around the, the picture, something like that. Yeah. I don't know if that's too much work. Uh, I'm just going to make it... Oh, shit. Yeah, I I really don't, don't don't know how the like a GM uh, interface works. So it's just we just think that that having the HP might give us more information that we should have. Yeah. Um, it's not going to work right now because all the tokens are already out, but I'm going to change it to where yeah, yeah, the tokens, even for yourselves, you'll be able to, like, you'll see what's left, at least of, like, you'll, you'll get a, the gist of what's left for HP and MP. Okay. So let's That's see here. Good. It's all good. Yeah, see how this one has the bars on top and bottom? Okay. Yeah, so you'll be able to... Well, I'll, uh... I think I can just... Because it doesn't give you an exact number. So I think that's fine for you to be able to see the bars. There we go. I mean, you're already telling us when they're in crisis and stuff. And so, um, you know, and I think in, in a lot of ways it makes sense um, that we'd be able to tell, like, you know, just by looking at them that they're hurt. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, so... Yeah, Phelan, Phelan did her best this time, and she she sort of... The, the spell goes out, and then she... The book comes down and bonks her on the head. <laughs> and <laughs> Because she doesn't grab it, because she's not the most dexterous person around. <laughs> and she just kind of... Yeah, tee type of thing. Mm-hmm. So, back to this first wolf here. He, uh... He's not too happy about what just happened. He's he's injured. He's he's kind of pissed, and uh, he's gonna try to attack the one that did it. Oh, and he's going to hit her really yeah. hard. Ouch. She's not looking good. She is severely in crisis now, and she sort oh, of gets wow. you know a, a very panicked look. As she starts to, well, panic. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah. First first person up for your team. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go this time because I've been, like, looking at their condition. Yeah. So I'm going to go first. Yep. And um, I'm going to move my, my other arm now. And it's going to open, like, a sort of, like, a, like a screen, a square that I'm going to push to the ground and like sort of like circuit things are going to start like spraying below you too and it's going to start to repair your wounds so I'm going to cast heal Ooh. they're almost kind of like uh, when you step on like 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 an Among Us when you step on the med bay thing and the scanner like goes yeah, up from much. the ground <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Much. Yeah. So that's forty hit points. That puts Phelan right back up to top, tip top. What the shit? Forty. Yeah. yeah. Forty. Oh my goodness. That's yeah. Awesome. He'll he'll you got OP. Both of us? Yeah, yeah. You got both of you with it. I that, that that topped me off too. Yeah. Hell yeah. And that takes you out of crisis, but you've already created your bond of hatred. So yeah. yeah. Uh. So th- technically, um. This Grey Howler is dead, but they're still supposed to go. Mm-hmm. So uh, I would just make this other Grey Howler go instead. And uh, he's going to attack Corso, because fuck Corso for that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. He's going to fail to attack Corso. He's going to run right past you and just kind of look around confused, like, how did I miss? It, yeah. And yeah. Uh, uh, my robe is a sort of a holy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. Next up, uh, uh, either Morthos or Phelan. Uh, if yeah. I assume Morthos. Yeah, I'll go. Uh, feeling, uh, you know, I say, uh, like, you know, like, kind of like stretch a little bit and then, like, you know, swing my uh, spear, like, down, like, stretching, like, ah, reinvigorated. And then I, like, uh, move towards the wolf. Is it, Was that the, that was the, the stronger wolf? The, the healthier one? The one that um, I have the Bond of Hatred with? Yeah. That attacked Corso? Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah I'm going to move uh, towards him and use Shadow Strike again. All right. Nice. Okay. So you roll that D10. Yeah. Let me do that. Mm. Eight. Mm-hmm. All right. So you take eight damage. Yeah. And then I'll make an attack. Yeah. Wait. What? Why did it do that? That's weird. Okay. Uh. Yep. Oof. I think not quite. Mm. Yeah. Not. Not quite this time. Oh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on a sec. Uh. So he. Can I say, like, uh, you know, he tries to dodge the first blade, uh, the first swing, but I see that, so I, like, use the momentum to carry forward, and I use a Fabula Point to re-roll the, hmm, which one is this, it, D10? Yeah, yeah, you can re-roll the D10. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Okay... <laughs> That's so 
fucking worse it can be. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. What if? Again. What if? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna use a, a fabulous point. Okay. And what if when I heal them, I gave them some sort of encouragement that allowed them to hit, like to be able to be more sharp to <laughs> to hit our enemies. Um, hold on. Let me <laughs> scroll up to fabula points here. <laughs> Make sure what kind uh, of bullshit's uh, happening. <laughs> It's very good bullshit. I, I'm at that. Very good because they didn't expect to be fully healed. That's, That's true. true. That's true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what? Sure, you can invoke your trait of okay. uh, you can invoke your trait of medical engineer mm -hmm. to let him once again reroll the might dice. Oh, thank fuck. Okay, nice. Here we go. It's time for real. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, let me add that. Uh, hold on. Two about, fabula how about, points. How about, how about this? How about this? Reroll my dice. Both in the worse heat of battle. Than first. <laughs> in the heat of battle, we created a bond. A very <laughs> strong bond. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's move on past this bullshit. I'm sorry, you failed. It's Phelan's turn now. <laughs> well, it happens. That Phelan happens, happens. looks embarrassed for both of you. He's fast. Uh, yeah. Quite fast. Quite nimble. Yeah. Uh, so she's got that one that came running up to her to nip at her heels, and she's going to try and smack... In, in a sort of panic, she's going to try and smack it away with her book. And she smacks it pretty fucking hard. Yeah, that's pretty and good. we are here distorting reality, and she just goes with a book and fucking smacks it. Yeah. <laughs> Be gone, <laughs> thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh okay. my god. Uh, we begin again. Oh, my face hurts. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna try and bite Phelan. He's just he's he's locked on. You know, she smacked him with the fucking book. I'd be pissed. <laughs> he succeeds. She takes fifteen damage. All right, your guys' turn. Course, yeah, so what, wanna, I, what are you gonna do? You want to help out here with just do just maybe maybe kill something since Morthos is yeah, battling I, right now. <laughs> okay, I, I'm I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fire. So, so I fired. That's a hit. Yeah. Which one you shoot? Yeah, the, the, one the injured I'm, one yeah. that's attacking failing. Yeah, 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 yeah he's yeah, fucking yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. He's down. <laughs> he didn't have much left, and you took it out. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Other gray howler. He, he's sort of tangling with uh, he, he's tangling with Morthos here a little bit as they're yeah. doing this dance of death that no, neither one can seem to prevail at. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hit. Yeah. For seventeen damage. Well, you'll have that. At least I'm going by D and D rules where if you match the AC, that counts as a hit. Yeah, no. So, I mean, I'm, I'm until cool further, that. until I learn otherwise, that's what yeah. we're going with. I I really got no problem with that. Yeah. yeah. So next up, uh, Morthos. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I want to shadow strike him again. I I like the I idea. I can do it. Strike, so I'm doing it. Yeah. Um. Especially knowing that Corso can just heal me in four hours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Crisis. <clears throat> True. Okay. Uh, I already have a uh, bond of hatred with them, so I'm not going to get another one. Huh. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
<laughs> you want to invoke it's... that last fabula point to reroll the dex die? <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Uh, you know, I really channeled the darkness. Mm, he's he's channeling so hard. It's yeah, really I, am, dark. I, I'm, I am atomic sort of situation. Yeah. Just concentrated on. It's really getting real. Yeah, super dark. Okay, how's that? <laughs> That's good. That's good enough. Good. All right, okay. it takes 25 shadow damage. Yeah. 26. Uh, 26. Yeah. Yeah, 26 um, shadow damage. Yeah, he's fucking. He's and well into crisis. Health. And I you heal two, two health. I guess, which yay, takes I'm you at, back out of crisis. I'm out of crisis. We <laughs> he's it. riding the line. That's right. The blood like recedes back, you know, into my mouth. Uh, you know, <laughs> right. Just slurps it back up. <laughs> uh, yeah. So next up is Corso's gone. Morthos is gone. It's Phelan's turn. She's gonna hold out her hand and attempt the magic. Let's. She's. She's gonna hope this works this time, and take a gamble. Oh shit! I'm glad I saved enough. Uh... And everybody's poisoned again. <laughs> I'm glad I saved. <laughs> Which doesn't <laughs> matter because the wolf was already poisoned. Oh, fuck. Crazy going on with this. <laughs> she hangs her head. She's like, "Why am I so bad at this?" <laughs> Mm. I've been learning magic so hard. <laughs> I really thought oh. this spell was beautiful when I read it. I was like, this is the perfect spell for an apprentice mage. Yeah, it, it is. is. It, it really is. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it right. gets seven and eight. Uh, a nine. Yeah, nine. Just wipe out everything. Man. Mm. Uh... Yeah, he's he's real injured. He's gonna attempt to uh, he's gonna attempt to run off. Okay. So uh, he's gonna roll an what opposed roll? check. Okay. Okay. So whoever wants to try and stop him, or he's uh, wh- he, he's shopping. gonna take off and try to run past Corso. Yeah. Uh, so roll okay. Dex plus Insight. <laughs> he said. Uh, he said, ah, oh, I'm poisoned. <laughs> Damn, oh, no. that was so close. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to use a fabula point <laughs> to reroll your insight? No, no, no. No, it's fine. Oh, yes. no, no, we need to capture them. No, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to use... I'm going to use a fabula point. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm rerolling. Well, <laughs> oh, you don't reroll both of them. You just rerolled one of them, but it was worse than the first time, and the other one was yeah. the exact same. So yeah, that counts. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's let's do this. Uh, let's make it a let's make it a group check that all of you are gonna like cheer Corso on instead. Yeah. So okay. uh, everybody's gonna roll Dex plus Inside except Corso now. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Dex plus inside, huh? Mm hmm. The, the party of shitty rolls. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, here it comes. How's that? Oh. Like? You like that? <laughs> you have a bond of hatred with that one, right? Yeah. You want to invoke that bond? Or do you have any fabulous points left? I have zero fabulous oh, points. Oh, shit. I was going to say you could invoke the bond to give it a plus one. <laughs> I say, uh, you know, like, uh,. I you know, I don't I don't want to continue this fight really uh, I don't want this to get, like uh, expand. Get him, uh, Corso. Stop the, stop him. Have at thee. Yes, have at thee. Uh, oh no, it's getting away. <laughs> How terrible. Yeah. Oh, so well, two out of three, right? Two out of three. That's, I mean, come on. Uh, I still have one fabulous point. Just saying. Hey, you know what? I'll let you spend your fabula point and invoke his bond of hatred, and we'll count it. <laughs> yep. Let, there it is. Zero fabula points <laughs> on one encounter. <laughs> yeah. That's all six blunt. Well, you know what? Phelan has fabula yeah. points. Let's use one of hers. You keep yours. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have. She to counts as a, a player character. 
<laughs> She'll yell out, "Don't let it get away, please!" And then you'll be like, "That'll give you the extra pep in your step to bonk it in the side of the head and keep nice. it from running." Butted him with the shotgun. Yep. So yeah, they are. Let's say they're all unconscious now. Love it. Uh, question: Are we still poisoned? Yeah, you're still poisoned. <laughs> it then, doesn't go um, away unless you cure or like. You can either use an yeah. item, you can use a spell, or you can rest. Yeah. I'm using my last MP to cure all three of us with cleanse. Oh, thank okay. you. Okay. <laughs> Although you you might want to take that rest here anyways after that. Holy shit! I mean, but you, you'll get your man. I'm glad I deleted one of the wolves. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's like it's supposed to. It's like three versus three is supposed to be normal difficulty. Yeah. Four versus three is supposed to be hard. All right, so. Yeah, but, but goes, if you think about it, failing was shooting. Uh, like was playing for both teams. To be honest, <laughs> I really didn't expect to roll that twice. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get something else. Fair enough. Oh, that was funny, dude. But you know, had she okay. rolled the seven or eight, she'd have healed you from it. So that is true. <laughs> Unfortunately, that combat took five rounds, which means you don't get any XP, any bonus XP. Bug. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunate. That's okay. And uh, yeah. How do bonds? How do you create a bond? Oh, during uh, during rest. rest. Yeah. Okay. Forgot I had this thing that tracks fabulous points. One, two, we spent six. Two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so Phelan goes. <laughs> as you're all kind of standing there, you know, in a huff, except for Corso, who's a little mentally drained, but otherwise completely fine physically. <laughs> uh, she goes, Well, don't just stand there. Help me drag them back to the cage, please. So, yeah, Fine. you guys, uh, we, we fade out, you know, uh -huh. um, I didn't mean to just restart this at the beginning, but here we are. I only have two mm. like sets of music right now. They're both medleys. <laughs> I didn't add that many. They're fine. They're perfectly fine. So yeah, you drag them back to the cages and she goes, would you mind helping me push them to the uh, zoology department is, is what we're going with because I don't know what cryptology maybe <laughs> would be monsters cryptozoology crypto cryptozoology <laughs> yeah it's all like that um, would you mind uh, pushing or uh, helping me push this to the to the zoology department of course and uh, so you do that, and uh, she goes, "Thank you so much. I'll be sure to report that the quest is completed." And, uh, and, uh, I'll, and I'll inform my teachers <laughs> and, uh, as well. Yeah, and uh, regarding our reward, uh, uh, the the mission stated that uh, it was uh, TBD. Regarding our reward, mm. she gets a very <laughs> sort of nervous, like shuffle about her, like wringing her hands together, uh. and uh, she goes, "I actually, I, I didn't put a reward because I don't have anything to offer." Okay, uh, let's let's just do this. How about you pay us uh, a day of uh, lodging and we call square. Uh, yeah, I can do do that. And she opens a little, a little purse, and she hands you both five zinni a piece. She's like, "This should get you a decent room at the Adventurers Guild." And she goes, "And let me do this also." And she pulls out her adventurer card <clears> and uh, <throat> holds it up, and just kind of stands uh, there. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing I, I get mine and, and, and tap it. Yep. And that sort of s saves her contact information. She goes, if you need help for something in the future, please let me know and I'll come running. 
Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And that I, was the reward all along, the friends we made. Yeah, the that's <laughs> right. I, I, I tap my card uh, against Corsos while it's out there, also. Right, yeah, yeah that makes them. sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> so you now have Phelan in your sort of uh, address book, friend list. if you want. Yeah, yeah friend, friend list. Means. And uh, they, they, it gives you the ability to sort of, you know, if you, I, I really just pulled that out of my ass. I didn't plan for that. I just thought it sounded cool. Uh, yeah, so, that sounded very cool, dude. I was like, oh um, shit, this is awesome. <laughs> Phelan, sir. Oh, what, <laughs> That's what did I F say? You say oh, Balin. Balin. Oh shit! Well, it's too late. Balin. Well, oh, Marshall doesn't read, so that's true. Yeah, but I don't think like. Uh, so if you want to add that to your like adventurers card, you could add like a description or like uh, add another thing and put. Uh, we'll just put okay. contact list. Okay. I'm gonna I'll... put in notes contacts. Yeah. Failing. Ironforge. Uh, I'm guessing student academy. Yes, academy student. student. Okay. And so she heads off in the direction of the dorms. Well, in the direction of the academy proper to contact the guild from there, as well as inform her teachers or of what happened and receive any sort of punishment they may have planned for her mishap. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I try to get her and, and the wolves as close as I can without having to go back in. Right. Uh, as, as much as is possible. Yeah, so that was the first combat. That was fucking amazing, dude. <laughs> yeah. That was good. Uh, um, my face hurts. That was funny yeah. as fuck. Yeah, I don't want to go... like that. A uh, uh, bullshit uh, serves as well in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it did very much does. Uh, I don't want to go into like another. Uh, you're, you're welcome to return to the Adventurers Guild and rest for the yeah. night if you want. Yeah. Well, we um, need to check our, our our mission with the with the lady. Right. Yep. And you'll you you'll get back get to the Adventurers Guild and go up to her and be like, "We completed the task." Yeah. And okay. she'll say. Oh, unfortunately, she didn't really tell us if there was a reward or not. But it seemed urgent, so we just sort of put... She paid the fee to put the quest up, but she didn't put a reward. And you can inform that, you know, she gave you money paid. for lodging. Yeah. yeah. For one night's lodging. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> No, I put oh, I I put the, the the cannon back inside my inventory space. I don't think uh, <clears throat> waving around cannon within uh, <laughs> a scholar city is. Uh, yeah, but might, might be frowned upon. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, you had that. That happened. Uh, I, yeah. I have another combat that's planned, but that kind of depends on which mission you take. But I'd prefer mm -hmm. you take it later because it's almost already been three hours. So, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah. But know, if you want to do, it, 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 if you want to take a rest, yeah. and then if there's another, um, I will tell you that like you don't want to do the ship guard one right now, and you don't no, want to no, no, deal no. with I, a rogue mage. I was I was uh, joking about about that. I was I was just like uh, trolling Corso about like oh that one looks easy you know yeah no I'm just uh, I'm just saying out of like out of characters you don't want to start either of those right now yeah mm -hmm. and uh, so do you want to take a, a rest for the night mm -hmm. yeah yeah definitely it's been a long day I mean that took a little bit obviously if this were using D and D standards it took no fucking time to do but. Mm. Uh, we'll say it took a while to find them and subdue them and then turn them in. And so you didn't get a full. Yeah. 
the bond created. Yeah, you can. So you can create a level one bond between each other, and you can decide. Yeah, dude. Admiration is a good one. Yeah, you've uh, what, you've what seen level what you guys be, are would capable be, of. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a question: What level would be the bond with my master? Would be a two? It'd be level one. Oh, it'll be level one. Okay. But you can. I, I mean, think you, I chose admiration for that. But you can choose whatever you want. Well, the the only two: inferiority or admiration. In my case, it's no. There's three. There's three. You can choose any of those oh. three. You can only just choose one of them, though. Oh, I have only two: admiration and inferiority. No, no. Blank. There's no, the there's, others, there's, the there's three. There's three check boxes. Oh, one okay, is uh, okay. admiration and for inferiority, loyalty, mistrust, or affection. No, hatred. it's affection. It's affection. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can level that bond or develop a new bond whenever you mm. rest. Okay. Okay. So you could also be like, you could think on it and be like, "Wow, I really." I, I really care for her, but also she makes me feel so inferior. And then you'd have a bond of inferiority and affection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, that happened. Uh, yeah. As you, is, is that the only way? Is that you like you gain an additional um, like aspect of the bond? Uh, that's how you can level up a bond. I think okay. it's the old is one of the only ways. I'd have to relook at it th though. Okay. okay, yeah. I just know that's something you can do during downtime. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, so as you guys go up for the night to sleep, we're going to do a little bit of uh, what they call the GM scene. Nice. Mm -hmm. can, and, can I have a like like a, a couple of minutes? I need to go to the bathroom like really urgently. Yeah. No, but okay. <laughs> I also got to be. So. Yeah, okay. I'll just put you guys right here. Order eight. Well, I forgot my webcam was activated this whole time. Whoops. But I didn't remove the cover. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy.
I'm back. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, that was a joke about calling her Balin. Oh, I figured. I was just... <laughs> She's in my notes as Phelan. How's, how's, how's it going? The game? Yeah. Yeah, I like the game. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like the combat not having, uh, like, a map and not having positioning as, a like, an aspect of the combat. Yeah, I... but it can kind of be an aspect, just sure, based sure. on, like, I can give plus twos and minus twos. Right. It's just you'll, you'll no longer run into, like, oh, I really want to hit that guy... But he's 10 feet further than I can run at my max range, so this whole turn is a wash. Yeah, no, that's not an issue in this. It's very yeah. much like, hey, that, guy is, that guy's 500 feet away from this other one, but I want to hit both? Sure, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think... I think it's really fun. I think it definitely has that JRPG feel. I think the only thing that is a little worrisome to me is the way that it calculates damage. Is... Uh, I mean, it, we're low level, and this is one combat, so I don't know mm -hmm. how things go. Um, so, like we, like we have very few tools at our disposal, and like we're likely to level up uh, like after this session. So, I mean, who, who knows how quickly the combat like evolves over time? Yeah, um, combat is supposed to be very hard and used sort of infrequently. That's why I asked you if you wanted to do combat or if you wanted to do a different way. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's interesting because it's like the cost of doing my shadow strike is, you know, like potentially pretty high and then it, it doesn't actually add to the chance to hit, which like, I guess I get that they don't want me to add my entire might roll, but it's a little bit weird that you wouldn't get like at least the spell level added onto the roll to hit. Because like if it doesn't hit, you're just out that health, and that's kind of that's interesting. Yeah, you can um, it, you you can like upgrade weapons to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I get where that's coming from. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not asking for it to be changed because like I've had one combat. Okay, I'm just uh, you know taking note of the the design of the of the skill and the class itself, really. Huh? What do you think of it? How are, how are you enjoying it? I like it. It's different. Yeah. It's different, and um, I mean, I like it because I mean, you have done like a, a ton of of work on it, like put in a ton of effort. Um, but it's nice that like you don't have to have okay. like plan out like entire maps and for every single combat, and, and like you know what I mean. Like that that saves a lot of time uh, that you can then spend uh, elsewhere. So welcome back, Roy. Thank you. You know, so far, this game has been way more than I thought it was. Yeah, very fun. Yeah. I'm currently trying to do something right now. So yeah, sure. we'll see what happens. Bigger time, there's no rush. This was always a session zero to try out stuff. And I'm very, very, very glad that you took out one, one of the wolves. <laughs> we would have been in a pickle. Hey, there he is. 
Hey, oh, fucking up. <laughs> I want to find an animated version of it because you can yeah. use like animated versions, and that'd be so cool. Let me let me see uh, if I can find. Uh... Like the one you sent me was technically a GIF, but it wasn't moving. <laughs> so that sucked. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll we'll do one last thing before we end. Uh, as you're resting will fade to black, you know. You're sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You're getting well rested. Morthos is in a bed for the first time in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, you'll you'll sort of have a vision of sorts, and uh, you'll see the open sea. And on this open sea is a sitting quite low in the water, a heavily armored ship. And uh, as it's sailing along, you see people running over the deck. And uh, people running over the deck, running all around. And it's guarded, uh, this ship, heavily armored, is guarded by two other ships as well. Smaller ships, but more heavily laden with cannons than the bigger one is. Clearly they're meant for war. And you see it sort of them lazily well, not lazily, but quickly as they can without leaving each other behind, traveling across the open sea. And you hear the, you hear a call and uh, someone from the crow's nest you hear pirates starboard and we'll pan to the starboard side because I know which side that is <laughs> starboard. starboard is uh, the right side yeah 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 mm -hmm. that's what I was thinking I just actively couldn't remember I thought it was right Th that's where I wanted to pan to right starboard right yep and you'll see a fleet of ships um, well equipped much more than the three all flying black flags and emblazoned on these flags is a golden phoenix oh, okay. oh shit uh, and uh, a battle ensues you watch as these pirate ships easily outmaneuver and sink the two warships before boarding the the heavily laden vessel, which from what you can gather is probably a merchant ship of some sort, carrying some a, a massive amount of loot from the looks of it. And uh, standing at the on the largest of these pirate ships, you'll see a woman with flowing black hair yelling out commands and yeah. You'll, you'll you'll see that, and the scene will sort of fade away a little bit as the pirates overwhelm the people on the merchant ship. And uh, yeah, you'll you'll wake up. Sorry, and you'll uh, have you'll both have an additional fabula point. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, it's both of us. Okay, uh, I was just mm -hmm. wanted to confirm that. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting dream. Mm -hmm. Not so much a dream, just a, a scene. Like you, you don't have to experience as a dream. It's just a scene I'm describing, almost okay. like like how they do in RPGs, where you see a cutscene that maybe the main characters aren't privy to, but you're watching it from the outside. Okay. Yeah. So, however you want to treat it, if you want it to be a dream, it can be a fucking dream. I don't care. Uh, I will show you the person you saw there because I'm quite yep. proud of the way this turned out. Yeah. Well, that one did turn out. Oh, damn. The AI Shiver, or... me t yeah. Shiver me timbers, dude. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, and we'll, uh, I think we'll we'll sort of leave it at there for now, unless yeah, you want to do like one quick uh, one quick quest that would only require like some rolling or something to do. Um, 
I think I think this is good, and then we could even we could do one of the quick quests at the beginning of the next one to kind of like get it rolling. Yeah, if, um, if, if that works for you, if, if you like. Yeah, that. that works for me. I mean, so that you have sort of something to look forward to. You now know that she's obviously a villain because those are the only way you earn fabula points like that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you have her to look forward to eventually, hopefully. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to, we'll figure out, uh, XP real quick. Okay. Uh, okay. That's, so that's six fabula points were spent. So I think that's divided by two. Mm. Let me just double well, check three, that. Three, if you consider the, the, the NPC that you also use one. Yeah. You use two. Yeah. Spec used three. She used one. That's six. Mm-hmm. I just have That's to figure up. I, I have to figure up XP real quick. I'm you hoping it's got some somewhere. bangers, dude, for for the game, dude. The music yeah. is using mwah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to actually look in the actual book. So, so is it just like so the so the in general the combat gives. No bonus XP? Like, no XP? You didn't complete it fast enough. It has to be done within five turns. It's interesting. Yeah, that's the blitz mechanic. Uh, That's actually... Oh, okay. I know why they're doing it like that. Okay. Because if you blitz it, then you wouldn't spend Fabula points on it. And so, if you end up with a couple easy, like, combats, then, like, you're spending the time, but you're not spending the points, so you're not getting XP. Correct. I see. But if you if you took time, it was supposed to... So you'll gain 5 XP, plus... Divided by the number of player characters. Technically, there was 3 player characters, but I'm not counting her. Because mm-hmm. I was controlling her, so 2, so you'll both... You'll, you'll get 8 XP total. Oh, okay. Uh, which means you need two more XP and you'll level up. So you'll level up no, next session no matter what. Okay. Oh, fantastic. I need to decide what to get. Yep. So just know that you get another level in whatever class you want or any of the three base classes you chose. And then you'll also get... Um... Well, that's pretty much it. It auto-does the other things when you level up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. 